Welcome to Mace Live TV. Mace Live TV, if you want to see all of our different videos on YouTube, just go to Mace Live TV. No spaces. And I have to ask those kind of things because I'm somewhat of an electronic nitwit. Uh, the people here at the Mace office, especially Mr. Cox, they drug me into this electronic age. And in 2003, we started the website, theteachersadvocate.com. And I'm getting to like this kind of stuff now because you can immediately talk about these principals who don't do their jobs and all they do is want to supervise teachers and make their lives miserable because they don't want to do their jobs or establishing discipline in the schools. So now we can talk about them immediately and get it on within a, almost a nanosecond. We can have them on the internet to warn our other members about uh, the precarious conditions at those schools and try to tell them you don't need to go teach at those schools. Now. MACE is an unusual educational organization. MACE is for teachers and teachers only. Um, we don't allow, you know, bus drivers and, and uh, custodians and uh, assistant principals or assistant superintendents or principals or superintendents to join MACE because we don't believe in having a conflict of interest at MACE. We believe that when someone pays a membership fee, they need to know that when they need help, the Mace doesn't have to say, hmm, now what are we going to do in this situation? The principal is a member and the teacher is a member. Now I know that's what they have to do at GA and Page and these other organizations uh, which try to be all things to all people, like Sears Roebuck, so to speak. Now Mr. Haynes, you know when we go in the building, we already know who we're there for, right? That's right. Who do we represent? We represent teachers and teachers only. And, you know, we don't uh, have to equivocate. I always laughingly say that, or jokingly I should say, that GAE stands for Great at Equivocating, and that PAGE stands for uh, Pitiful Administrators and Groveling Educators. GA, uh, uh, MAY stands for Mad Advocates Creating Empowerment. We're about the uh, protection and empowerment of teachers, and in particular, our members. We protect teachers one member at a time. Now, we know what the issues are. We don't have to try to figure out what the issues are. We've dealt with this stuff uh, for years and years. And I personally, I'm Dr. John Trotter, I've been representing teachers for over 20 years. And Mr. Haynes has been working at Mace since the year 2000. He worked in uh, a couple of school systems. And I've worked in a few school systems myself in Georgia. And we understand the issues here at Mace. We know that the issues at Mace are the following. First of all, you have defiant and dis uh, disruptive and sometimes destructive students. People who are supposed to be students, but they go in the classroom thinking it's a game of cops and robbers and they think that the, the teachers should be playing those kind of games uh, with, with them. You know, but we know that it's defiant and disruptive students, irate and irresponsible parents, and what's the other one? Um, you know, we always say the angry and abusive, abusive administrators, administrators, right? They just right. stopped there for a while, but the camera's rolling, honey, you're going to stop, right? <laughs> and of course, we found another issue in recent years uh, since we started Mace. These have always been there since 1975. Those three have been the main issues with teachers. And that's who we represent teachers. We don't worry about parents. We don't worry about uh, the administrators. We don't worry about the politicians. We worry about teachers because we represent the teachers. What's this new issue that has emerged in the recent years? Well, they have this issue about talking about cheating. Cheating, systematic cheating going on. You know, and we, we, we've we been picketing about cheating before all that stuff at Atherton Elementary in DeKalb County broke loose in the media, about King High School or about Deerwood Academy in Atlanta or down in uh, St. Uh, Simons down there in Glen County. We're up there on the streets up in DeKalb County in front of the central office and picking in Crawford Lewis. We were talking about systematic cheating going on at uh, the different schools over there. We had a grievance going on where the teacher filed a grievance about systematic cheating at Clarkson High School and right in the middle of the grievance. State Senator Ronald Ramsey, who's in charge of the grievances over there, shut it down. Shut it down. Shut it down. I mean, just shut the whole thing down. We had teachers that were going to come in there and testify. And, of course, they were reeling about the uh, young uh, fifth grader uh, who had uh, taken his own life, allegedly, because of the bullying out there. And so they were, you know, upset about all the bad media. But we'd been out there on the street before all this so the cheating thing came out in the media. But, uh, you know, one thing I, I noticed, Dr. Trotter, What's that, that? Uh, a lot of superintendents do not want uh, anyone to know about that they have their bonuses and they get these big salaries are tied into and into uh, 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 the attendance, the attendance, and, and 
FD, uh, FTE the, account. At, FTE account, right. That's the, uh, the, the attendance of the students as well as the attendance of the teachers. And also suspension. You know, No Child Left Behind says that uh, if kids are not at school and they don't even look for what the purpose is, what if the kid needs to be removed because the kid's going to bullying other students, they don't care. 